Hello everyone, all praises. Thank you, Father, for allowing me to see another wonderful day. Okay, happy, happy Sunday, everyone. Yes, today is Sunday. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Joyce McTeer, and I am the owner and operator of LaJoyta Creation Designs. Please do me a favor. Please do not fast forward through this here video. You want to see this video today. Not only do you want to see this video today, but I would greatly appreciate it if you could also thumbs up the video so that this video can go into rotation for other people to view. It is so very important, y'all, that we get these thumbs ups on our videos so that other people can view it because the more thumbs ups, the more people will get a chance to see what you have saw, okay? So let's go ahead and get right on into this. So y'all know I always talk about going to your uh, beauty supply store, finding things where anyway, I ran into the store called Dollar Buys. I think it's called Dollar Buys. And I'm gonna show y'all something, two items that I purchased from the Dollar Buy and also a purchase that I purchased from Walmart. Now, with that being said, let's get ready to get in on to this video. So, for those of you who are looking for ideas, now, these are called River Rocks. And I found these at my, now I'm not gonna say local beauty supply store, a store called Dollar Buys. Now, I'm gonna open these up because apparently, I believe what happened, they were $1.49 and I bought two bags, okay? And this is the kind of stuff that you're looking for when you're out looking for ideas, okay? Now, everybody everybody that's seeing this may not be into rocks, okay? Y'all may be into the real thing, which is crystals and all that other kind of stuff. But I am a true believer that you can make jewelry from anything, okay? And you can make it, you can make jewelry from anything, and you can also make nice quality jewelry. Just because you pay a dollar or whatever or whatever for something doesn't necessarily always mean that it has to look like you paid a dollar for it, all right? So let me take this out. They used to sell these type of rocks at Walmart, but they do not sell these at Walmart anymore. And this is what they look like. And you can glue these together and you can, like I always say, y'all, the sky is the limit, okay? So I bought two bags of these. And I'm gonna also show y'all something that you can get from your local beauty supply store if they have them. Sometimes they have it and sometimes they don't. But this, like I said, I did not get this stuff from the beauty supply store. I got it from a store called Dollar Buys. So the next thing that I'm gonna show y'all are Okay, so I have it in this bag. And these were one dollar each. Okay, these are some stretch bracelets. That was one dollar each. And I'm gonna take these rings off so I can put it on for y'all. But anyway, whenever I buy stuff like this, I don't sell this like this, okay? I buy it. These are some nice, This is these are 10 millimeter beads, like a um, check glass, pretty much. And these are just regular. See, I got them in two of these. These two are the same. But y'all, the last time I was down there, I went in there for something and you know, people are doing the stackables now. But what I would do with these is I would break these down. I would break each and every last one of these down and make and create something else with these, okay? I do not, <clears throat> I myself, I'm not speaking for everyone, I'm only speaking for me. 
I do not buy stuff like this and sell it. Okay, if I buy it, I'm gonna break it down and I'm gonna use it to remake, um, to make jewelry, earrings, necklace, whatever I see fit, okay? So this right here is, these are good to buy. They were $1 a piece. And you can find stuff like this in those stores where they have these. The quality of these beads are phenomenal. Okay, they're glass beads, but they are good quality, okay? So I bought one, two, three, four, five, six of these, one dollar each, okay? And that's just an idea for those of you who are looking for ideas to make and create things. Now, this last thing that I am going to show y'all, I saw this weeks ago, okay? Weeks ago, I had to get my coins together to buy it because it was $14. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I don't want to, I don't know if I want to spend $14 because I already have beads. But when you are a crafter, you want as many beads as you can get. Okay. So I saw this at Walmart. Now y'all probably have seen this. I saw this around the same time that I saw these. Now I did a previous video showcasing, showing y'all about these natural woods split balls okay all right i did a video on this some time ago but this i couldn't resist this is wood beads and this is made by cousins and this is diy you have to be 12 years plus in order to use this tub of beads like i said this was 14 dollars and some change and it was when I saw this, even though these are natural, these are natural wood, they have no color to them or anything. What drew me to these were the size. These are large. You get large. And I think you only get, I think you just get two sizes, this size and this size. And these are really huge. These are like, these, I'm gonna say these about, these are about maybe 15 or 16 mm's and these have to be about 24 or 30 they're really really big okay really big these are nice you can use these for anything now where i saw these i'm gonna i'm getting ready to explain y'all where i saw these these are not in the actual craft aisle these are located oh i gotta say this in the same aisle where you would find like the paints and I'm going to say the paints, like the wood shapes and all that stuff. The next time I go to Walmart, I am going to do a video because every now and then I do have people asking me, Joyce, what owl did you find it in? Where will I be able to find those? Y'all, I got these from Walmart. I fell in love. <laughs> okay. And the... The ideas are limitless. Now, I'm going to show y'all, too, that I was messing around. This is not anything. A lot of times, y'all already know that I make a lot of prototype things before I actually, uh, you know, show y'all or do a DIY or whatever, whatever. So, I took two of the large ones and I painted them. Just painted them just to see how the colors and all that good stuff would show up on it. Now this here, I did, this one I add, didn't add any coats to it, but I did put one coat of Mod Podge on it, which is this right here. I added, y'all gonna have to excuse my hands, but um, I added one coat of Mod Podge on this and I was just painting and I said, you know what? I just wanna paint this and see how it come out. And then I was thinking about, of course, you know, painting, making some bracelets, but but the thing about this, y'all, you can paint these beads. You can um, put fabric on these beads. You can put beads on these beads. You can actually glue beads on these beads, okay? There are a lot of different ideas that you can do using this, okay? So with that being said, y'all go and get you up. A tub of these, like I said, they're $14, rounded off about $15 for this one tub. You get 114 pieces. And 
see and it says it's not a toy not intended for children under 16 this product is intended for fashion and decorative uses only okay so for fashion you can use it for whatever you want to use it for <laughs> because you paid for it. So with that being said, y'all, I want to take this time to say thank y'all so very much for joining me. I greatly appreciate your support. Please make sure you share my videos. Please make sure you thumbs up my videos once again so that my videos can go in two rotations for other people to view. Y'all have a wonderful and awesome day. Happy crafting. All right, and keep the most high y'all first in your life and all things shall be added unto you. Y'all have a wonderful and awesome day and until my next upload, peace and blessings, everyone. See ya.